Hello and welcome. I could ask whether it is possible to make text appear and then disappear at a specific time in Shotcut. And yes it is, in many different ways. So this is gonna be a beginner but also advanced tutorial on the many different methods for adding text overlays to your video. As you can see in this example we have normal overlay text, we have 3D text, we have fancy graphics and even some automatic text like a counter. So how are we going to start? First go to view and make sure playlist is enabled. We're gonna start with just our main video. And once we have that let's drag it to the timeline. The first thing we're going to do is a simple text overlay. So we're gonna go to the filter widget and we're gonna select our clip in the timeline and we're gonna press the plus. We can filter by video filters and we want text. There it is, just click it and now you have the timecode variable. You can also add other stuff like frame number, file date and file name which can be useful for, for example, comparing effects or something like that. But we're just going to delete it and write something on our own. You have to add new lines by yourself. And now we have a lot of nice little options. We can change, of course, the color and the font. Um, I'm just going to go with standard sans and bold. We can set an outline color and configure its thickness, but I really prefer a background, which we can give a certain padding. And I'm going to go for a dark gray. You have to set the alpha channel or else it will be invisible. Maybe a little light, but should be fine. And then you can also change the position either by using these numbers or by dragging it by this circle in the middle, or you can use the corners to resize it. So we're just gonna put it over here, bottom left corner. It's much easier with the uh, with the user interface here than using the numbers, I think. And you can align the text in the box. So we have our first text but it's uh, present in the entire video. So what to do if we want to change it? Well it's simple, just use the split function and then you can set the text to a certain uh, phrase in the sections which you split. And then it will, whoops, and then it will just change. There you go. And you can make as many of these as you like. For now let's split again and let's take this big chunk and remove the text uh, filter so we can now keep working with the 3D text filter. For this select the clip you want to have the text. We're gonna cut a bigger piece and again press the plus in the filters tab and we can filter by video filters and we want 3D text. Let's just go over there and it already is visible. Let's just change that to some bold self-promotion. We have a smaller selection of fonts here and uh, We have less options, but we can at least still control the color, the size, uh, and even the 3D size, and of course tilt and position. So we're just going to put it at the top here.
and that's it. All right. And again, the same rule applies to cutting. You can just change it uh, by cutting this segment using the S key or this button, and then you can change the text. And there you go. So next on our list are image overlays. For that, let's import an image, which we already edited. I made a Inkscape tutorial on how to create such images. And now we're going to right click on this area here. And we're going to add a video track. You can also use Ctrl and Y. And we're just going to drag it over. And there we go. Now the nice thing about these image overlays is that fading is rather easy. If we want it to fade in and fade out, as opposed to just appearing out of nowhere and disappearing into nothing, we can simply go to filters while it's selected in the timeline, press plus and then select fade in video and do the same with fade out video. And we have to click adjust opacity instead of fade with black on both of them. Yeah, much better. So one big question is how to do this with the 3D text or standard text? Well, I found two solutions so far. We cannot, of course, use just the fade in filter. If we do that, let's just test it. Fade in, fade out. If we do that, then the whole video will fade in and fade out. If that is, if, if that is fine with you, you can, of course, use it. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like with opacity. It doesn't do anything because there is no uh, video track b below it. So we're just going to remove these. However, what we can do is uh, copy this clip with Control C, for example, and then paste it into a, a video track above it. And now, if we uh, click it, the top one, and add fade in, fade out, and we make sure to use the opacity setting. Now it should work. Oh, wait. First we need to disable it on the one below. All right. Wonderful. Of course, we would have to do the same to these, uh, to the ones before and after it. But we're going to skip that. Instead, I'm going to show you another method how to do this. It is similar to the method of having an image prepared, but we're still going to use the internal text effect. And for this we're going to go to our playlist and we're going to import a transparent image. An image that is a that should be PNG format, should have a right aspect ratio and it should be completely transparent. So if we put it on top on something else, it's just the same. So to this transparent image, unfortunately, we cannot use the 3D text. Um, I guess that will be solved in a future version. But for now, we can use the text filter. And again, we have to insert some text. And again, we can set all these settings like color, background color, padding, font, and we can move it around again and resize it. All right, and now we can also add fade in, fade out. And here's the result. Ah, pardon me, I always forget to hit the 
um, opacity setting. There we go. Much better. Um, yeah, so this is of course a more flexible version. Uh, this way you can just drag the clip around if you decide it should be somewhere else. But if you use this uh, method where you copy the video clip, then you are bound to the uh, selection you picked, although you can resize them. So that, that's also rather flexible. For the last one, we're just going to create another copy and we're gonna add the 3D text. And we're just gonna test if it works to fade in and fade out here. All right, it works, great. So these are the methods you can use. You can either just drag and drop the, I mean, use the uh, text effect filter on the video clip. Then you can slice it up into pieces where you want the text to change. Same with the 3D text effect. If you want fade in, fade out, you can copy the clips and give them fade in, fade out effects, filters. Always remember to check the opacity. And remember, if you do this method, you have to remove the text from the lower one. Otherwise, it just shines through. Uh, then you have the method where you can prepare an image in another program like GIMP or Inkscape or whatever you prefer, uh, which has nice, well, I mean, it allows for interesting, more interesting designs. You can add logos, and you can also cut out text out of a background, for example, and have holes in a surface, uh, which would be harder to do in the video editor. And you can use the transparent image method, which allows for a rather flexible positioning of the text filter. And you have 3D text, which right now, in the current version, you have to use a copy of a clip. So thanks for watching, I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao!